Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael from Hustle Sheets and I want to show you guys how to create a progress bar in uh, Google Sheets. So this is actually my sheet that I use to track my clients' uh, projects. I create spreadsheet products for my clients. Um, I hit a bunch of columns that have some personal information. I should probably... Uh, yeah, so basically I want to show you guys how to do this progress bar. Um, the way, that's, this is the way that I track my projects. So I kind of have like a bunch of different statuses like uh, complete, canceled, submitted, whatever. And then it kind of, it turns, you know, there's conditional formatting so it changes the color of the row. But sometimes I want another visual. So I rate my projects on a progress of zero through five on terms of completion. And then if it hits, you know, it's two, then it then the bar goes here. If it gets four, the bar goes there. If it's five, and then the bar goes there. This way I'm able to just kind of scroll and quickly see, okay, you know, um, which projects aren't aren't completed yet, which ones are almost done, just so I have a better visual of what's going on besides the colors, because sometimes the colors can be a little bit confusing. So uh, let me show you guys how to do this, okay? Um, this is using the spark line formula, if you see the formula over here. So let me show you guys on a different sheet, and I'll share this sheet with you guys on how to do it. So for me, um, I created a column called progress, and then um, let's say one through five, right, like that, and then I'll create uh, progress bar. So the first thing that I would usually do is I would uh, create kind of a drop down menu. So I'd right click it, uh, the car, I'd right click the, the cells, and then I'll click data validation, and then um, list of items one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, four, comma, five. So save this, and then now you have one, two, three, four, and five. Now for the formula, I'm going to select one. Now for the formula, I'm going to change the font. My favorite font is this one. Um, so for the formula, it's going to be the sparkline one, right? So you hit equals and then type in sparkline. And then you want to highlight the data. So this is the cell that I want to click on. And then uh, you pretty much, this is exactly the example that they're using. There's many different types of sparklines. Um, but the one I'm showing you is the bar chart. So you highlight the cell that, that you want and then you type in exactly what's what's in the example. So it's the curly brackets and then in quotation marks chart type quotation marks and then comma and then quotation marks bar semicolon and then now so now you're telling it uh, what chart type you want which is a bar and then now you're telling the max number which is going to be in my case, one through five, it can be a lot more. Okay, so max, and then I'm gonna hit five because that's my personal max for, for my rating. You make it whatever you want. Curly brackets, and then the parentheses, and then you hit enter. And then you basically just drag this formula all the way down. Um, so I just highlight down and then I press Command D or Control D for a PC, but you can always, always just drag it down like this. Right, and then uh, if you see here, there is a bunch of error messages because these ones aren't gonna be filled yet, right? Um, so that looks pretty ugly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this inside an if error. So I'm gonna type in if error, parentheses. I'm gonna go to the very end of the formula. Um, this is the value if there is no error. If there is an error, I'm just gonna type in a comma and then leave it empty and then close the parentheses just like that. Now if I drag this formula down, now it's going to be empty like this, right? And then you can basically do this um, however, okay, you can you can also kind of do it however you want. So for example, let's say uh, there's a different max for every for every project that you're doing. I, I don't know what case this one might, might be, but in, instead of having the five here, you can just change it to like D2, which is this one over here. And then you can type in the max and it'll kind of uh, do the perspective correctly. So I put in five, it's going to go halfway down. So you can, you can do it that way too. Uh, for me on my spreadsheet, I just did it in a fixed, in a uh, fixed format. So I just put in five. So I'm going to share this sheet with you guys and you guys can kind of, I'll share it in this format. So you guys can kind of take a look and um, see exactly how to do it and play with it. Let me know if you guys have any questions and then if you guys, um, want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.